Arthur and I have moved just north to the Silver Strand Beach, which is arguably the most popular beach in Oxnard. There's a lifeguard tower here, restrooms, there's a pretty decent sized parking area. This does get super busy in the summer. It's also the most popular surf spot and you're right next door to the Silver Strand restaurants and shops. So there's a lot going on here. This beach is dog friendly. There's posted times where your dog is allowed on the beach, but there's a lot of people that do take their dogs down here or off leash. In November now, I'm here at the end of the day and there's just hardly anybody here. But like I said, there's a lot of times where it can get really busy. Another thing worth mentioning is Silver Strand's a pretty long section of beach. It's easily a mile. It's bordered to the south by the Deepwater Harbor, and it's bordered to the north by a seawall that goes along the Channel Islands Harbor. You could just take a short stroll from the Silver Strand Beach down a boardwalk in the Channel Islands Harbor over to the Kitty Swim Beach. It's an easy, short, and beautiful walk. Kitty Swim Beach is a wonderful spot to launch your paddleboard. Your kayak goes swimming. It's a protected area so there's no wake. And you're also just a short distance over to the Silver Strand area where you have lots of local shops and restaurants. In the summer, this is one of the most popular areas in Oxnard. Right now though, in November, they have this area roped off with the orange fence because it's been inundated with sea lions so that people don't infringe on their territory. There are hundreds of them here and it is smelly. But uh, this is a popular spot as well at this time for people just to come down because they're so entertaining. So many clients when they initially contact us are interested in the Ventura area and Midtown and downtown there. But once they get over to check out also the Hollywood Beach area in Oxnard, most of the time they become very interested. This is a special area because on one side you have the Channel Islands Harbor and on the other side you have the beautiful beaches and ocean access. And in this area there's also shopping and restaurants and there's a couple miles at least of paved trails where you can take a walk. Now we're at the Hollywood Beach, just north of Silver Strand. This lagoon area is one of my favorite spots all up and down the coastline. You have large sand dunes, and then as we turn here, you can see there's a nice protected area for swimming once again, snorkeling if you want to, and the water can get really clear. Fantastic sunsets. And if you want your beach area to be more secluded, this could be the spot for you. As you go north from here, you have miles and miles of wide beaches and coastline with views of the Channel Islands. You can bring your dog here at posted hours. Just a wonderful place to be. From this area, you're also gonna be right next to the channel. You can watch seals and dolphins swimming by. Now we're looking south over towards the Silver Strand Beach. There's just a lot going on in Oxnard in the beach in Channel Highlands Harbor area. It's, it's an exceptional marine environment. Now we're looking over towards the Rudder Room. It's the only hangout in this area. And as mentioned with the volleyball courts, it's a popular place. You'll see quite a few people here on the weekends. To get to the lagoon at Hollywood Beach, you're actually gonna park right in the Channel Islands Harbor, right next to the canal. Isn't this area just magical? If you're considering moving to coastal Ventura County and possibly buying a home, give Kazai and myself a call. We'd love to answer all your questions in detail. We can get you the most useful information to you really quickly and efficiently. Get about relocating to Oxnard or just visiting here, be sure to check out the canals area, which is part of the larger Channel Islands Harbor. It is gorgeous and there's over five miles of walking trails. 
It's the Venice of Ventura County. There's even a gondola here that you can take rides on. There's lots to do in the canals area, lots to look at, beautiful boats, and there's also a variety of restaurants and shops, and there's public launching for your kayak or your paddleboard. And park and go shopping if you want to. Grassy park, it's just a really beautiful area. There's a public access ramp right off the backside of the Vons grocery store and a free parking lot here as well. Another area I wanted to show you real quick is the Channel Islands boat launching facility right off of Victoria Road. It, this pier is a great spot for launching your kayak and your paddleboard. And we're right in the canal section that's leading to a whole extensive area of canals where you can go paddling and sailing and sometimes see dolphins swimming down in this area. It's magical. There's also a big boat launching area here at the Channel Islands Harbor Boating Center. Hey, are you liking this video? If so, give it the thumbs up and please support this channel by subscribing. That really helps us out and gives us the motivation to keep trying. Subscribe, please. A really fantastic thing about Oxnard overall is there is lots of free parking at the beach in the canals area in the Channel Islands Harbor. And that's really exceptional because there's a lot of areas in Southern California where you're consistently gonna pay every time you wanna park next to that type of access. Now we're one stop north of Hollywood Beach. We're at Olakoi Beach Park, which was formerly known as Oxnard Shore State Beach Park. It was renamed recently for the Chumash Indian word for dolphin. This park was recently voted in a USA Today poll as the best beach park in all of Southern California, and that's including La Jolla. Even on a cloudy day, this is just an amazing park. There's a huge grassy park area with volleyball courts, barbecue. Okay, so my dog Arthur and I are on the paved trail that's heading out to the ocean. It's roughly, I would guess, about a quarter of a mile loop that is really gorgeous going through sand dunes and just all kinds of variety of plants as well. Isn't this amazing? The paved trail comes all the way out through the sand dunes to where you have ocean view, and then you can actually walk along the beach for a while on the paved trail. So this is one of the best spots in Ventura County if you want this type of paved trail. Also, there's one I'm going to show you in the canals area in the Channel Islands Harbor area. And there's a really nice paved trail system to the north as well in Ventura that I'll be showing you. Come on, Arthur. Olakoi Beach Park really is well named, named after a dolphin. So many times we've come down here and we've seen dolphins playing and swimming down the coast. And you can see if you check it out here, it's pretty empty. We're here on a Friday. It does get busier on the weekend, but if you really do want to have more of that private beach vacation feel, this is a great place to go. It's going to be a lot less crowded here, let's say, than Ventura. Just a quick locals tip for you. You don't have to pay to park at Olakoi Beach Park. This is the lot that's just to the south of the main area where the huge grassy park area is. So it's a big advantage to Oxnard. You do have free parking here. It does make it a friendly place to come and stay the day if you want. And you can also walk from here over to Hollywood Beach into the little restaurants and shops over there.
One last stop for beach and ocean access in Oxnard. We're just north of Olkoi Park and we're at Neptune Park. It's a small park tucked back within a neighborhood. It's a little bit hard to find, but it's just north of Olokoi. You'll find it easily on the map. There's a really fun playground here, and this is a cool beach to park at because you can park, and from your parking spot, you'll hear and can see the ocean. So you can chill out in your car if you want to, and then the beach is just gorgeous and wide and long, like all of Oxnard beaches for the most part. Sometimes when we come down here, we'll notice local surfers use this slide. They'll perch themselves on the top of it so they can check out the waves before they make the decision whether or not they want to actually get in the ocean. It's pretty funny. <laughs> commitment to our channel. I'm out at the beach just north northwest of Olakoi State Beach Park where you pass into Oxnard Beach and Mandalay and there is some crazy wind today. We've had some really huge waves this winter. They built up an embankment here to stop seawater from coming into this adjoining community right here. There's a manufactured home there's a manufactured home community right next to one section of the beach but we love coming down to this beach area <laughs> we love coming down to this beach area you have miles and miles of long and wide beach there is a power plant i don't know if you can see with me that there's a power plant just removed from the beach as well that you do see it's a little bit of an eyesore but other than that you're going to be walking north northwest to McGrath State Beach Park from here. And it's, you know, it's really beautiful. You can walk from here really all the way up to Ventura, miles and miles. And it's really common that we've come down here and we've seen dolphins and seals and just tons of sea life and birds. Very beautiful. Are you interested in looking at buying or selling a home in Ventura County? Please let Kazaya and myself know. We'd love to have a short chat with you.